Welcome everybody to That's Facts. And I'm sitting like this because I want us to feel like it's one-on-one. -on -one. Not just me talking to the masses, but you specifically. Okay? We all had to take a driving test to get our license. And part of that test was parking. And you know, they had some lines and you had to put your car in between them. Let's pretend my head is a car. Look, it's in between the lines. It's not like this. Okay? If you double parked, you, you failed that part. You got called names and made fun of. So when you go to a grocery store or the mall or anywhere with a parking lot and you see those, those lines painted on the ground, it's where you put your car in between them. Now I don't care if you have a $500 thing that barely runs or a quarter million dollar sports car. If you're really that worried, leave it at home or park in the very back, but still park in between the lines because it's just insulting and rude for you to think that you're so much better than everybody else that you need to take up multiple spots. Now, if you have a trailer or you drive a real Hummer, not one of those H1, H2 pieces of garbage, and you don't fit in the lines, okay, exceptions can be made. But again, you know that that's what you're driving, so park away from the, the masses. Be respectful. Don't be an idiot. Don't just think, oh, I'm better than you and I can... I need you to not get anywhere near my car, because whenever I see that, I want to double park myself right next to you so you can't even open your doors. I'd climb out my sunroof just to prove my point. And I know that if you're double parking because you think your car's better, you're not going to hit mine trying to get in. You're just going to be mad, because your car's probably nicer. So don't be that person. Don't do it. That's, that's why we're having this one-on-one, -on -one, because I, I want you to understand the severity. But until next time, like, comment, share, subscribe, spread the word.